Okay, guys. Hey, hi. I'm still standing in the corner and I'm scared to death. Because the window shut down. How can I not be scared if the window shut down? If something spooky comes out, I'm going to cry. I'm gonna step backwards. I don't know. A bit like, um, what's his name? Thunder. Person, talk to me. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Man, I don't want to go in there. This is spooky. No lights. There's no lights. I don't like this. I'm okay. gonna. I don't want to, I gotta close my eyes, I don't want to watch this. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? when for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. I'm really shitting my pants right now. I'm not liking this one bit. It's dark, it's misty. Stanley walked straight ahead oh, through God. the large door that read Mind the light Control scared Facility. Me to death. Oh my God. Oh. What the hell? I'm so on the edge of my seat right now. The mind control facility. Oh, look! It's saying escape. Huh. I might do actually more episodes just to show the different outcomes. That would be so cool. Mind control facility. It's dark. Yeah, I don't like it. This reminds me a lot of Portal. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. What the hell is going on here? What is this button? Elevator up. Well, Right. Where is 427? 427. 427. 427. There it is. That's my desk. Strange. Very, very strange. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Sorry. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I don't know. No. Let's find out. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I don't know. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. And how do I do that? <laughs> oh wait, there's something up here. Let's see what's up here. 
Oh, well, I'm less freaked out. I'm more like confused right now. This is four. Why are there multiple buttons with numbers on it? I'm no liking this. I'm telling you, I don't like this. I feel like there's a monster gonna pop up any second now. Um, everybody's offline. Even if it was a mind control room, why would everybody be gone? That's a bit silly, isn't it? I'm just, you know, goofing around. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm just goofing around. I don't know if I even quit this game. Is it being saved or not? That didn't do much. Oh. Oh. Stuck. That didn't do much. Okay, there's another button here. Which is five. Where's six? Is there number six? There's a big red button over here. Not pressing that. Mind control idle awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Okay. Oh, there's a monster gonna pop out of my face, right? I don't wanna watch this. What is going on? Looks like Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Of course it's not over. Oh my god. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Okay. Okay. So right now, what I think is that every time you restart over again from your desk, you can choose different path. So I've choose the happy path right now. So I did everything that he said I would need to do. So I'm going to need to plan this as good as possible to get every possible ending. And um, I'm gonna actually note it down so I know what I did and did not do. And probably every possible thing that you come across will take two episodes, which is pretty nice, right? So at least I hope you like it. And I hope you're kind of excited to see the different outcomes if you haven't played this game before. So, or if you did and you haven't really went through all of them. But yeah, I'm really, I don't know. I, I don't know what to think of this game yet because I didn't see the other outcomes yet. And I'm kind of, I don't know if I should go 
from back to beginning so if I should do everything over again the same thing but instead of pressing off I would press on and if I did that one step back I would not take the elevator or I would instead of going to, into the mind control room I would go into the escape route and just go fully back from there till I go back to the choice of the two doors of if you have another Stanley idea, stood for a long time in one Shut spot up, it's part of a game he likes to see how long he can go without dying so far he's doing excellent and if he just stays right where he is I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum let's observe the genius at work okay I'm just gonna move around otherwise he's gonna keep talking to me but if you have any other idea for me to do this Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I'll wait to make more episodes. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, I guess. And you're amazing. Thank you. And he said I was going to die. And that freaks me out a lot. But thank you guys for watching. It was Age Amusing playing The Stanley Parable. And next time you'll see other outcomes to this amazing game. See you next time. Good day and good night. Bye-bye.